the graph of an absolute value is very interesting because we know that the absolute value of something always has to be positive. So let's make a chart here and look at what happens. So let's just say our equation is y equals the absolute value of x. Right? How do I get from x to y? Well, what's the absolute value of negative 2? Positive 2. What's the absolute value of negative 1? 1. 0, 0. 1, 1. Absolute value of 2 is 2. So you can see it's kind of mirrored itself, right? The, the 0 here, and then we have 1 and 2 on the y, and then 1 and 2 on the y. It's kind of interesting. Let's look at it on a graph real quick. This is my starting point. This is 0, 0. The next point on my graph is where x equals 1, y equals 1. Where x equals 2, y equals 2. Now this is what's interesting. If I go to my negative values where x equals negative 1, y also equals positive 1. When I go to negative 2, y equals a positive 2. And I get this neat little V-shaped structure. That's what the graph looks like to the absolute value of x, right? And I can do neat things to it. I can move it up and down and left and right, but this is what it looks like. It's this shape, and I'm going to be able to translate it or move it around based on a vertical or horizontal adjustment, but really the x and y are just mirror images of one another because we're converting these negatives to positives. We did get some fan mail. Um, we decided to do a little piece. We're going to open some fan mail here. And uh, I just want to say how grateful I am and thank you very much. This one comes from, um, from Arkansas, they're telling me, from all, all the way from Arkansas. Um, let's see what little Cindy writes here. Little Cindy says, she says, please, please stop. Please I thought we were going to edit so that we only got good ones when we were live. This is the only one? Alright, well thanks Cindy and we'll see you guys next time um, when we do some more fan mail. Thank you.